Here we go. Another thing about 2223 is it's the first build that houses the first embers of CD burning. But you'd never know it due to an oversight, and then even if you did know it, you wouldn't be able to use it because of two more. The first bug ensures that the UI to enable it is hidden and will never be displayed, making for more even hidden UI in this build. If we go to the Create CD Property Pages function, this is what I've called it, it's not what it's called in the, the code and it happens when you right click on a CD drive it calls this function and what it does is it creates a property sheet I think that's the general sheet and then it comes down here checks this calls this function here 151 and then it checks if it returned a non-zero value if it didn't and returned zero it jumps straight to create the hardware tab but if it didn't return non if it turned non-zero then it continues down here and sets up this CD recording dialog which goes into the property pages. But Ordinal 151 always returns zero. So obviously when it calls this function, it, this is zero, so it goes straight, skips all this, and goes straight down here to the hardware tab bit. So what you have to do to get it to show up even in the first place is to modify shell 32 to either ignore these lines or to just you know, change the value of EAX here or not do the jump and when you do that which is I've, something I've already done and you go to my computer eventually it decides or doesn't decide in this case don't know why that's not working go to my computer and the CD drive right click on it go to properties and we get this fancy new jazzy recording tab and this is the checkbox which enables burning which we tick it and then you have to store a disk image on C that's where it saves the files which you will copy there you see and you can set the write speed up to 4 speed and apply and OK now Explorer crashes because it does that with all the drive property pages for some reason I don't know why in this build and then you turn it on and then if we go back there why that's not I don't know why that's not working, but that's a mystery. Chalk it up as another book for this build. If we go back to the C D now, we can click on it and we get a new web view. Ignore that, I just put that there before. We get a new web C D burning web view. And it says this folder contains a list of files to move it into the C D. Drag and drop the files into the folder, add them to the list, and then to save it, you click that button. Well, that's what hopefully happens. Now this, like it is in XP, is a staging area, a view of a different folder, and that folder's on the C drive, and it's in Documents and Settings, Your Username, Application Data. Now here, it's in an untitled folder. Now, due to a bug, well not a bug, more of an oversight again, and when I find out where it is, it's 77. 5C E5 E4 and you can see what it does to name the folder is first it gets the volume information of the CD drive and it checks the volume name and then if it's not there the volume name it uses untitled otherwise it uses that now obviously you can't name a CD until you've actually burnt it so in this case it's always going to be untitled that folder name Right then, anyway, once you've added at least one file to this shell view, and when I get back there, once you've added at least one file to this, this button turns up. If it's if you delete that file, it, it well, anyway, if you delete that file, it's not there, and it says you must add folders to do it. And if you click that button, then oh, nothing happens. Now, if we look at the code behind this web view because they're just HTML, normal HTML pages you get down here to web and it's cdburn.htt open that and go down here to this function is called called burn when you click that button it calls this function but again due to most an oversight or maybe a bug or well not a bug it really is an oversight these desktop icons are working I don't know why 
thinks using that desktop start page has killed the icons on the desktop. So another reason to be wary of it. If we go to anyway, yeah, it it tries to invoke a verb on itself, and that's just a fancy shell talk for a menu option. And it tries to invoke one called burn. But if we look at the verbs it uses, I have to go back in here because I've forgotten what I've called the script. It's full of verbs. Should have remembered that, shouldn't I? Let's see script. If we look at the folder verbs that D exposes, the CD drive, we can see that not there isn't a burn one in there. There's write to CD, but burn isn't in there. So obviously, if you click that button, nothing will happen because it's trying to evoke a verb that doesn't exist, a menu option that doesn't exist. So luckily, though, there is a write to CD. Obviously, since it's in the menus, then we get a write to CD option and then you can invoke it by clicking on it obviously and then it doesn't do anything and now this the reason this doesn't do anything is because the actual um, burning engine isn't included in Windows in this version in this build imappy.x is not included in it but the shell knows to look for the and I'll show you that as well get rid of all those oh that won't work will it will let my lesson this time Go to the desktop, open Regmon. Explorers, usage of it. If we go back here, if we right click on it, and then write to CD. If we stop it there, we can see it's looking for a object with this GUID 520CC and all the rest of it. Now that's the GUID of the image mastering API, which is iMappy. And that's the bit that does all the disk writing in Windows, and it's not in this build, and it's not even registered in the registry. So that's why that doesn't work. So yeah, it's mostly intact to the CD burning, but except for the actual burning wizard, it's not there. There is text for that, if I look in the right place. It's 786 in here, down at the bottom. You can see there's all the strings that are here for it, CD write, a prepare and burn, closing disk, I think. There's no dialogues for this, so I think it would be in like a progress dialogue, like a copy progress dialogue. I think it would be in there. So yeah, CD burning in Windows as its first appearance in this build, kind of.